Um, my name is Guy Smith, and this is my second presentation for macroeconomics. And um, today we'll be discussing expansionary fiscal policy and whether or not it is effective. Uh, but first, uh, we should discuss what expansionary physical policy consists of or its purpose. Um, its main purpose is to keep our economy healthy and help it to continue to advance and grow. Uh, the expansionary fiscal policy works to help us avoid any recession or keep unemployment low and uh, and keep unemployment low as well as increase the demand for consumers all good things Mainly the policy just tries to work to put more money into our nation's economy than what is leaving uh, econ Economic growth is exactly what needs to happen since since the Great Recession, we have seen how effective expansionary policy is. It has helped our stock market return to good levels. And even now, since the Great Recession, we are really not where we need to be as an economy. However, Trump has used expansionary physical policy in an effective way with his tax cuts as well as his Jobs Act. Um, our economy will heavily benefit from expansionary physical policy in the sense that we'll be able to grow, but uh, because of, like I said a while ago, more money being put in that's being taken out. In our current economy, uh, unemployment is still ridiculously high, but the policy will work to fix this over time as it continues to help our uh, economy become more and more healthy. Uh, there are people that may argue that it isn't effective, but look at the facts. Um, if expansionary fiscal policy is used to increase government spending, or for tax cuts, then it will increase our aggregate demand. It works to stimulate our economy and will continue to help us recover from the Great Recession. And although our economy is not the best, it could, it could be, I believe, that effectively utilizing expansionary fiscal policy will continue to bring our economy closer to where we need to be from a financial sense. What some people do not grasp is that less economic activity is not good at all. It is almost like a snowball effect. Uh, less activity or spending leads to less of a profit for companies, which leads to higher unemployment, which leads to even less activity to stimulate our economy. And before I go any farther, uh, let me go back and explain on expansionary physical policies two main essential tools. Like I said earlier, expansionary physical policy mainly and effectively utilizes tax cuts and increased government spending. Um, to break this down more, let's look at this from the eyes of a normal person. Uh, when they hear tax cuts, they will think this is a very positive thing, and it is. But the big game we get is essentially just more money to the consumers for disposable income. However, when someone hears increased government spending, they might associate this with the government spending more of our money but this isn't really the case. They are ac actually increasing the spending because it will ultimately increase the level of employment. In both of these tools, the expansionary fiscal policy is working to increase our demand as an economy by giving us a higher rate of disposable income in order to uh, boost consumer spending and cause more business investment. Uh, when we look at this, when we looked at increased government spending, it is also good to know that the increased spending comes from something called uh, discretionary spending, which doesn't affect already earmarked programs like Social Security or Medicare, as stated by one of the writers at masterclass.com. So just to recap, expansionary fiscal policy uses its two essential tools, which are tax cuts and increased government spending in order to ultimately increase aggregate demand. Giving more money to consumers will work to stimulate our economy by increasing economic activity in order to recover from a recession or work in the most efficient and effective way possible in order to prevent recession. Overall, expansionary fiscal policy and seeing its purpose and after seeing expansionary fiscal policy and how it works and its purpose, it is easily seen that expansionary fiscal policy is very effective in our modern economy.